Well, I'm out here in the WSLS 10 newsroom, and it's state of the art. We've talked about that. We moved in in April, but one, one of the relics that we brought from the old television station is this old color television camera. Not just because it looks so cool, but because of everything it saw through its lens. Repaint some things, get it looking nice. It's hard to say what this camera has seen through its lens. For now, it's Tay Whiteside's job to see through the dust and grime that's accumulated since the camera was mothballed years ago. Pretty much all of it made me go, what is this? We at least know some of what the camera saw. Footage from the WSLS archives from when the station, thanks to that huge camera, was the first in the region to offer color broadcasts. Well, this is the last piece of steel in this sequence to go up. These days, the camera serves as an example of what could be accomplished long before today's technology. It's all analog. There's no microprocessors, there's no you know, CPUs, no nothing. It's all wires and capacitors and resistors and it's pretty amazing what they were able to do given the technology of the time. I gotta figure out where I put those screws. As he removes all he dares for cleaning, Whiteside points out the pulleys and cables. He's cleaning what he can, painting some other parts and banging out dents the camera suffered during years of storage. He's not even sure why he's doing it. I don't really know what made me want to take the project on, but I just, I guess curiosity bit me pretty hard. A lot of meticulous work. He says it's all about discovery. There's quite a bit of evidence to support the fact that this thing got really hot. There was some heat cranking out of this thing. There's all kinds of, I mean, Kevlar and ceramic coatings and things to, and vents, a lot of air vents to keep air circulating through. It was pretty wild. I mean, there was a lot of horsepower inside this thing. The old TK-42 will never record another image, but Whiteside says he thinks, just maybe, it could. I don't think there's any reason it wouldn't work again, but, uh, not it. <laughs> we'll slide this end over here. The camera is heavy, maybe 300 pounds. Go up and on. As Whiteside brings the reconditioned project to the new WSLS 10 studios, where it will be a conversation piece, our team notices how many hours the camera worked. Look at the hours on that side. 7,422. Nearly 7,500 hours of operation, as far as we know. <laughs> A camera that transmitted 1960s imagery in color. Would you tell us about it? Over the air, long before the internet, Netflix, or even cable TV. A camera long since replaced by generations of smaller, more sophisticated technology. A camera whose proper place is on display. An icon full of old fashioned bells and whistles that gives us mostly a look back in time. And, of course, we are proud to have been the first television station in the region to broadcast in color. That was back in 1967. This camera was such a big deal when we put it on the air that a couple of days after our first broadcast, we had local dignitaries and even Miss Virginia come to show it off. Like I said, this camera has seen a lot through its lens.